This is a Vita Vacumod 500 vacuum dental furnace. Um, I got this a while back. It's not functional at the moment, but the uh, main reason it wasn't functional is that the control panel is missing. I thought this was an interesting thing to have because in a vacuum furnace, you know, you can do heat treatment under the exclusion of atmosphere. And since this is an airtight container, you can also replace the atmosphere with something else. Um, and maybe do some surface treatment on the parts that you put in there. I took this thing apart uh, and bent it back in shape because it got a little bit banged up doing transport. And of course the first thing to try out is to see if it opens and closes properly. The way this works is that on this platform here, um, there is uh, the part that you put and it then gets driven into this you know, chamber up here. And there's an O-ring there and this all gets driven by a DC motor. So what I did is I took the motor uh, connector off of the board and just connected it directly to a power supply just to see if this thing at least mechanically still works. And uh, it works just fine. So in this case the platform will move up, the O-ring will seat against the surface and then uh, the firing process can commence. There's a connector there in the back to which the vacuum pump gets attached and that's what pumps the air out. This thing is supposed to operate up to 1200 C so you can't quite melt steel in it but I think we can do a lot of other things. There is a microcontroller by Philips on this and this particular version of that microcontroller does not have any internal ROM for programming. It all has to be external. And I've already looked at this chip here. This is a PROM uh, made in 1986 and programmed at some point in the 1990s. Um, and this is a 512 kilobit PROM uh, which holds the program. So my plan is to pull this off, pull the program out, disassemble it, and uh, figure out what the control panel is supposed to be doing. I suspect that this is just a serial connection and then it hopefully is relatively simple to make a replacement control panel using an Arduino or you know some other device, computer, whatever, and then have a nice working furnace. So I took the EEPROM out and connected it to an old Arduino Mega 2560 because that's the only one I have that has 5 volt signal level capability and I uh, dumped the contents of that PROM. However, the problem is that it looks like most of that PROM has been corrupted. The entry point for that Philips microcontroller is at address 0. And the very first instruction here is uh, number 2, which represents a return instruction. And that's not something you can start a program with. So it's pretty clear it's corrupted. Also, I have dumped the program multiple times and then compared the uh, dumps. And what you can see here with the file comparison utility meld, you can see that uh, many, many of the uh, data addresses that come back don't match. And even if I force 20, 30, 50 times uh, reread and try to get the most common um, return values, they still don't match. So the uh, program in this ROM is severely corrupted and so I can't do much with this. I have contacted the manufacturer of this furnace to see if I can get a copy of this firmware. And uh, if I can get a copy of the firmware I will go that way and if not, we'll uh, rip out the circuit board they have and make a replacement with a more modern microcontroller. 